So hi everyone, in this short video, we are going to see how you can leverage upon cyber dynamic privilege access, also called DPA for vaulted account access to MS SQL database. So let's get started. So here as a first step, what I did, I spin off a MS SQL database. So I'm leveraging upon AWS RDS service. So this is what my endpoint fkdn looks like if i go to the configuration you can see my master name is username a master username is admin and and uh, the password is hidden so if we go to our cyber dynamic privilege access service so a vaulted credential we have to perform only two steps account management for account management i go to the privilege cloud so i have already onboarded this ms equal account so if I click on details, so you will be able to see this is what my username is, my FKDN address. So my account is already onboarded. The next step is on the DPA connector installation for the DPA connector installation. So I spin up one EC2 instance and I ran a script. So that's pretty much what you have to do from a connector installation standpoint. So now, from the administrator standpoint, everything is completed. So now we are going to look, see how does the end user experience is gonna look like. So what I do uh, for, for the demonstration, I'm using one of the utility provided by Microsoft. Uh, so they call it Azure Data Studio. So we will be using this utility to connect to the database. Uh, so what I do, so we'll click on a new connection. So we are gonna use a Microsoft SQL Server. So we are going to keep authentication type of SQL login. And then I'm gonna name as MS SQL vaulted account access. So one of the other things we have to do, we have to increase the connection timeout. So it takes around uh, 30 to 40 seconds, so I will increase it to 90 seconds. So then we have to provide some of the details for server, username, and password. So let's go to our DPA page. So we can go to the connection guidance. So we will click on database, and then we will go to the vaulted credential. For database, we have to select it as MS SQL. Our user is admin. And addresses, I'm going to copy my entire FKDN from here. And domain is optional. So here, this is what my server name is. So I'm going to go to my utility. So we will paste the username. Uh, sorry, this one is not username. So we will paste it as our server address. And then for the login or the username, so this is the long string. It comprises of a couple of attributes. The first one is uh, my username. And then second one is the address of this cyber access tenant. And then this is the user what we are using to connect to the uh, database. And this is the FTDN. So it comprises of four different parameters. So I'm gonna copy this. So we will paste it on the username. So this is uh, our username. For password, I'm going to use a MFA caching method. I'm gonna click on MFA caching. We are going to generate a password. So I'm gonna copy this password and then We'll paste it here. So then we will simply click on connect button. It takes a couple of seconds to get connected. So let's wait. So it got connected within like 15 to 20 seconds. So it is getting connected. So here you will be able to see the database size, backup status, and all other 
different attributes. So here you can see everything. So I'll click on the database. So we click on RDS admin. We can run a new query. So we are going to run a query to find out the username, which user we are using to connect to this particular database. So this is the query select as user underscore as name. So let's run this query. You can see we got connected to this MS SQL database as a admin user. So, so this is how the end user experience is gonna look like. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll disconnect and we will close this and I'm gonna disconnect it from here. And then let's close this window. So now, so what we will do, we will see how does the, how does the audit events are gonna appear on the CyberArk DTA. So I went to the CyberArk centralized service called audit service. So let me refresh this particular page. So here, so we can see there are two different DPA uh, events are still going on. It takes a couple of seconds to get reflected. Uh, let me click on commands. So here, so these are some of the commands get executed behind the scenes. So I'm interested in the command we ran. So let me go to the other vaulted connection. We're gonna click on commands. So here you can see this is the command as a user, we ran. So this is how, from an audit standpoint, DP can help you to capture the audit campaigns. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short.